I've taught E plus R equals O for, uh, for a long time, for, for over 15 years, but I've used it for longer than that. I've used it for the better part of, gosh, probably coming up on like 23 years uh, or close to. And I don't know if I've learned more about E plus R equals O and how it works from just living it and doing it myself or from teaching it and working with other people on how they're using it. But it's been a lot on both. And, and obviously, it's one of the, the, the tools that I teach that I get asked the most questions about and, because it's, it's so useful. It has so much utility. And so th there's, a, there's a breakdown or a misconception in E plus R equals O that I want to make sure that we grab a hold of. And I kind of communicate this in two parts. And the first is that more often than not, E plus R equals O, people approach it and they get introduced to it as a tool for managing adversity. And there's nothing wrong with that. There, there's everything right with that. But that's just one way to use E plus R equals O. It's not, it's not primarily a tool. It's not meant to be exclusively a tool for dealing with hard stuff. It's meant to be, and it is a tool for dealing with everything. Now, if your introduction to it is dealing with adversity, okay, but none of us live in adversity all of the time. And to only think of E plus R equals O in adversity is to really limit yourself with what E plus R equals O can deliver to your life or your production or your performance. So if you're just seeing it as dealing with hard things like traffic or you know, uh, uh, when you get beat or when things aren't going the way you want or or you know, the bigger hard stuff, right? Losing your job, somebody in your family gets sick, you know, the, the, the big stuff losing a client, losing a commission check. Um, use it for that. Be useful there. But don't limit yourself. Right? It, it's a strategic tool. It's a, it's a competitor's tool. It's a, uh, it's, a, it's a tool worth pursuing things with, not just dealing with stuff. It's the difference between being passive with it and being aggressive and forward thinking with it. That's number one. And then number two, is how you actually manage E plus R equals O. What, what are some of the stages that people go through in managing it? And I find that there's four. And I, the first stage that people go through is they, they use E plus R equals O and sort of this lowest level is just controlling the response. And, and a lot of times for most people, the entry point for that is not doing an impulsive thing that would be a, uh, uh, a response that wouldn't work. Right? Uh, so not blaming or not complaining or not getting defensive would be an example of this. So controlling the response, that's level one. Level two is choosing the response. And, and the difference between control, just controlling that response and choosing the response, controlling it is a lot more about just the simple yes or no. Right? Did I do it or not do it? Did I avoid the impulse or did I you know, do what I was supposed to do or do something good? But the second one, choosing the response, this is where intentionality comes in. This is the strategic side of E plus R equals O. It's actually, it's not just controlling it, it's, it's designing and building and crafting and choosing that response with forward momentum for producing an outcome that you want. The third level is getting skillful in the response. First you learn how to control it, then you start learning how to choose it, and then you actually start getting skillful, right? You start getting into the granular, into the detail of how to respond with skill. And you start building more and more and more and more capacity to respond in more and more and more skillful ways in more and more and more and more situations to produce more and more and more and more results. And then the fourth one, the, the, to me, the real highest level of E plus R equals O is when you're actually responsible and accountable for the cause and effect impact of the consequences your responses are producing. So you control your response, you choose your response, you get skillful in your response, and then you become responsible for the outcomes you're actually producing. Because I can engage in a skillful response that doesn't produce the outcome that I wanted or the outcome that we needed. And you know, sports are a great example of this. Business is a great example of this. Relationships are great examples. You can respond well and skillfully and still not produce the outcome. That top level of E plus R equals O 
It's when you actually look at the outcomes that are taking place and whether they're happening or not happening, whether they are making progress or not making progress, is you pull back to your response and you actually completely own those outcomes and you dial in your response with control, with choice, and with skill to actually make the outcomes happen. If you can get those four things locked down on E plus R equals O, you're gonna be making a lot of progress. And that journey is a journey of years. It's not a journey of weeks. It doesn't happen in a workshop and it doesn't happen just by watching a video. It happens by doing deep, disciplined, extended work. So work on those four levels, see how those square against you and your environment and do the work.